How do these children with refractive errors present? Sometimes they present with squeezing of eyes while watching television, difficulty in copying from the blackboard, holding things close, books, gadgets, etc. Maybe they failed vision screening in the school examination or accidentally covered one eye and found that the vision was less than the other eye. Also, perhaps presented with poor school performance or attention. In older kids, there may be frequent blinking, rubbing of eyes, sore looking eyes or eyelids, and even older kids may present with headaches, eye strain, or words moving about while reading. And sometimes children with refractive errors can present with a squint, an esotropia, or an exotropia. Hence, a careful motility examination with a cover test with an accommodative target for distance and near is an integral part of a refractive error examination. What is so special and difficult about examining children? Because children have poor attention span, they are uncooperative, they are unreliable at subjective tests, and examining them can be time consuming. But do not do an automated refraction in a child. Because the gold standard for refraction in a child is a cycloplegic refraction. So what are the cycloplegic agents that we have at our disposal? We have cyclopentylate 1%, homatropin 2%, tropicamide 1%, atropine 1%, the gold standard, and cyclomidril. The dilating regimen could be something like this. Cyclopentylate 1%, followed by 5 minutes later tropicamide 1%, followed another five minutes later by another drop of cyclopentylate and 35 minutes later refraction. Or homatropin, five minutes later tropicamide and 45 minutes later the refraction. In premature children less than six months of age, 